Or, only order of business tonight is our deliberation of selecting a director of schools. Before we get started with that, though, Ms. Kennan, have a few things she'd like to say. I would like to ask the audience to listen to what I say. We have struggled very hard to try to do a good job, and we hope that you will support us in what we are trying to do for our community, our kids, our city. And I would like to also thank Dr. Qualls for what the people, the high standard of his presentation of Canada's to us. I have observed what's going on in the other suburbs and we have an outstanding group which makes our selection much harder. But I'd like to read to you what each of us said when we took the oath of office. We're all new, we're going to make mistakes, one day you're going to love us and the next day you're going to hate us. But this is what we said. I, name, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and that I will be faithful and hear true allegiance to the state of Tennessee and support the Constitution and laws thereof and that I will support the character, the charter, and the laws of the city of Millington, Tennessee and that I will be the best of my skills and judgments. I will use them diligently and faithfully, without partiality or prejudice. Execute the Office of Members, Board of Education for the City of Millington, Tennessee, according to the Constitution and the laws of this state, and the Charter and the laws of the City of Millington, Tennessee, so help me God. I do not take an oath with my God without sincerity. And I think every member on this board has done likewise. You may not like what we have said. You may not like what we did. But you must know that it's sincere. I feel that the members of this board in his or her way, has tried to do the job we were asked to do. Whether you agree with us or disagree. However, at the end of this day, we have endeavored to do, and I'm losing my voice, I'm sorry. We have endeavored to do what was best for the children and what is best for our community. We wish to see it grow and prosper. We plead with you to support us, to help us in all that we do. We have decisions to make that are very hard. They are going to make some of you happy and, like they said, some of you sad. I have been pushed some days to the point that I've been ugly and I apologize. But I think that without another statement, you have the best quality of candidates before you tonight, and you have the best board that you could get. I do hope you'll support us, and thank you for coming in your time. Thank you, Ms. Ken, and also I have some comments that I would like to make, um, and I would like to address specifically a couple comments that were made in our public session on Monday. One of the comments was that we please listen to the recommendation of our consultant and my comment on that is that there has been quite a bit of information that has been shared in these chambers in research in talking with Mr. Qualls here there there's all kinds of information that we have to try to make the decision not counting the outstanding interviews that we had tonight and the interviews and answers that we had last week so to that comment, I'd just like to say that you can be sure that this board will take into account every piece of information that we have in determining who we think is the best candidate for Millington Municipal Schools. Second comment I, I'd like to make, and I'll be honest, I didn't really hear this comment because I was trying to keep the time on everybody, but there um, 
were some comments made that potentially questioned the integrity of our process and Mr. Qualls coming in with an agenda. And I would just like to say that Mr. Qualls did have an agenda when he came here. It was the agenda that this board set and that he and I confirmed many times on the telephone. And that was to bring to us the best qualified candidates that we could in selecting our superintendent. And I think if you've been here over the past three nights, last Tuesday and Wednesday, and then tonight, I think he's done an outstanding job in what we've asked him to do. Now, the interviews that we've had last week and tonight has not made our job any easier. We have a very tough decision. And as Ms. Kenna noted, it's been a rough week for a lot of people especially ones sitting on this board. There have been a lot of accusations of things that we've done which are not true. There's been a lot of accusations of other things that are not true. But the thing that I think has helped me get comfortable again with this process is that if we think about what Ms. Kennan just said, that every member of this board is making their decision based on what they think is in the best interest of the children of Millington, then we can't go wrong. We will have no regrets in the decision that we made. And whatever happens, happens. We hope we get the best superintendent. And we may have differences of opinions on who that is, but I think we are all doing our very best. And we do ask that you support us. Because when this board renders its decision, I know in my heart that these seven members will come together because it's okay to disagree, but the kids of Millington are too important for us not to pull together and make this happen. Thank you very much. Um,